All right, I think we're good. Let's progress to the Legend of Zelda. A link to the past. Let's do it. I have no idea where I left off. Uh, for the well, actually, hang on a minute. Let me let me try one more thing. There we go. Just got to make sure I'm on top of my tags. I don't even know if it matters all that much, but I feel like I should uh, keep things accurate. Start from the sanctuary or from Link's house. Let's start from Link's house. All right. What's the map button? It's not that one. Let's see here. L R X X. All right, so that's where Link is. We have two places we could go. We could head south to the desert or north to the mountain. Well, I see a pretty clear path to the desert, so let's go that way. Let me just get reacquainted with the game real quick, because it has been a long time since I played. All right, and let's not forget, I have a specific thing that I'm doing with this playthrough. I'm trying to analyze enemies as I encounter them, observe their behaviors, understand their AI, understand how they move, what they do, why they do it. I think in general, I have been able to break down each enemy type into... Okay, I take that back. We got a new one to worry about here. Uh... In general, though, I have identified about three different kinds of enemies. And for the sake of simplicity, I will refer to them as uh, roamers, chasers, and zoners. Not to be confused with boners. Uh, yeah, the roamers are things like the, uh, the weakest guardsmen, skeletons. They just wander around and do their own thing. They make turns at random intervals. You're never really sure uh, what they're going to do, because they just kind of act according to their own whims, randomly. Which can make them dangerous, if you're trying to deal with other things at the same time. But by themselves, they're not a threat at all. Then you have the chasers, of course, like the average Hyrule Castle Guard which will actively chase after you and try to get close for a melee attack. And then you have the zoners, which also uh, move relative to your position, but they try to stay a certain distance away before taking a shot at you. Now, of course, there's already been many variations on these. And I suppose here we've encountered a new, very gimmicky enemy type, the kind that just randomly teleports and... Uh, well, either does a hop, or tries to shoot you. I'm not sure if I should classify that bird as an entirely new category of enemy. These Octoroks I would classify as roamers. Oh jeez, I hate it when they pop out of the grass like this. Alright, tell you what, I'll... What was that? Was there a bomb in the bush? Honestly, I kind of want to refer to the crow enemies as missiles, because that's exactly how they move. They ready, and then they launch, and just never turn back. Boy, these enemies are getting a little bit annoying, honestly. B! Go away! I don't want any. Those I would classify as chasers. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of secret temple? New bombs, uh, very helpful. But surely that's not all that I can do here, right? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. 
I need to grab things again. Oh, there we go. All right, I don't know what that's gonna do. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Well, that was unexpected. Okay, pick the right one and solve the puzzle. Pick the wrong one and die. So I guess that's some kind of aqueduct? Oh! I just drained the water! And there's fish! I don't think the fish harm you, nor can you harm the fish. Can I pick up the fish in a bottle, I wonder? Well, I've already got a fairy in a bottle and I don't want to lose it, so whatever. Alright, maybe I should actually shoot things more often. Considering I'm getting a little bit... Why did I turn around? Actually, can't I just charge through the grass? Yeah, there we go. That's a pretty easy way of, uh... Making some incisions. Of course, what I want is a heart, but I'm not getting it just yet. You bastard! What are you doing hiding in there? Okay, I guess I got what I... Ugh, geez, these birds. Alright, let's see here. I'll take the south path. See how far that gets me. Not very far, apparently. Okay, I guess they don't always make a beeline for you, those crows? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how they operate. They seem to just kind of do their own thing. What's your deal? Pay no attention to the middle-aged man standing by the sign. Leave him alone! What if I just keep talking to him? Alright, maybe there's something funny going on here, maybe not. That's a question for another day. Alright, nothing to see here. The cave up there. And this appears to lead to the desert proper. Okay, cool. There's vultures in there. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Let's see what's in door number one. Oh, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Thank you, Fairy Fountain. Yeah, it feels like this game is a little bit light on the heart drops. I don't know, maybe new uh, modern Zelda games are just a bit more uh, generous than they were before. Man, these things take a lot of damage. So what are these? Is there a shovel item in the- Whoa! Wow, look at that guy coming out with his jazz hands. I guess that's another enemy of the hiding variety. Not too different from levers. Honestly, a, a little bit less threatening than levers. Hey, door number two, what's in here? This is a spooky looking cave, but nothing much happening yet. Hello there. Are you the sage from before? Aha! It is the Book of Mudora! With it you can read the language of the Hylia people! Uh... Cool. Is there an example around here that I can check? Huh. Yeah, I remember getting that book from the li uh, library before, but, uh... Hang on a minute. How do I use bomb again? Ah, there we go. Well, no ancient language here, but, uh, piece of heart, I, I very much welcome it. Yeah, why is this man here? I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like one of those uh, old men from the first game that give you weird cryptic advice.
All right, I guess I'll just continue following the perimeter of the desert. Duh, what do you want, bird? Go away. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man, these boots are so useful. You can just go halfway around the world in no time flat. This desert, pathetic. Doesn't stand a chance against me with these shoes. Oh, I guess I need the book in order to progress into the next temple here, huh? Oh, I see. To open the way to go forward, make your wish here and it will be granted. <laughs> okay. Is it really that easy? Just make a wish? Yes, it is! As long as you watch the statues do a little dance first. Alright, Dungeon 2. This is probably where we're going to be spending most of our time today. Go levers go war in here. I feel like I don't need to describe levers all that much. They behave pretty much the same way as they did in the very first Legend of Zelda. So not a lot to talk about. Hey, is that a Beemos I see? Yep. Now, here's the question. Can I blow it up like in other Zelda games? Oh, jeez. No, you can't. Huh. Oh, maybe I can shoot it. Yeah, I can shoot it. But only when its eyeball is facing me, it would seem. No, wait, that's just the animation when it shoots a laser. Never mind. I just wasted two arrows. I wonder, is this the first game that Beemos ever appeared in? It's kind of wild to imagine. Did I overlook anything here? Something about the layout of this dungeon is giving me Blaster Master uh, Zero Two flashbacks. Okay, this guy I would classify as nothing more than a stationary trap. Not really anything significant. Honestly, it's kind of like a terrestrial form of the, uh, the Zoras. Or the Zolas, whatever they're called in this game. Well, there's definitely a lot to check out here. I don't know, that wall looked uh, suspicious. Hmm. Actually, this looks like it leads outside. What? I don't want that. <laughs> Alright, I don't know why there's a quick escape, but... Okay, nope, I don't want none of that. That's more than just a stationary trap, that's a straight-up turret. What in the world is that noise? Alright, fair enough. If you're not careful, those things can actually trap you. Hmm. Alright, note to self, if those things are already on the screen, then avoid them. You can't close the distance without getting shot. There we go. And is that it? Is that all I get? That noise is still just going nuts in my right ear. I don't know what to make of it. Man, there's a lot of options here. Hey you, wake up. Wake up you big goon. Oh, right, don't I have to shoot these things? Yeah, there we go. Wake 
Wakey, wakey! Oh, shoot. I keep wanting to, like, conserve arrows. There we go. That does work. I was just not doing it very well before. Dungeon map. Alright, press X. You got it. Alright, so a pretty basic temple layout. Got a nice symmetrical ground floor here, and some extra layers up top. Simple. Alright, but before I go, let me check and see if that does anything. It appears that it does not. Huh. Oh, I see. That was a double-ended room. Gotcha. Alright, so this big room might not look like much, but it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of twists and turns, for lack of a better word. Oh, and this, this is just a straight up dead end. Okay. Not that I would know that, given the limited scope of my vision right here in the first part of the room. Alright, can't go any further to the right until I get a key. This looks like a conspicuous little hallway full of tricks and traps. They don't scare me none. Also, I have hit my maximum amount of arrows. 30. That is remarkably small. Are you kidding me? That doesn't work? Well, what the heck am I supposed to do there, then? Wait, 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 wait. Where does that go? Hmm. This gonna be like that snake dungeon from Oracle of Seasons where you have to step outside of the temple in order to get to the top? It looks like as soon as I... Oh, hello there. Nice. It looks like as soon as I get the dungeon item, that's how it's going to go down. As for... Oh! So that's the puzzle. <laughs> well, that's weird. Hey, fairies! Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. Alright, so that's a dead end. Gotta go back up. But this was definitely worth the detour. I got a preview of where I'm gonna have to go. Oh! Alright, note to self, you cannot just plow through those things if the uh, quicksand is already up. How effective are arrows against them? Pretty effective. Alright, yeah, I should definitely use my sub-weapons more often. And just out of spite, I'm gonna go ahead and take these levers out. Go home. Alright, I see one room up here. Let's check that out right quick. What a lovely little... Ha! Okay, I get it. It was up on a ledge. Ink in his eyes, <laughs> you must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. That's advice that I failed to follow when I played this game before, and it led to me getting very, very lost and stuck at one point. Alright, I see how these little puzzles work. Gotta find the trigger whilst dodging lasers. A seemingly simple task. But hey, you gotta have an easy uh, puzzle every now and again. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh, this is unexpected. Oh, that's right, I got the small key earlier, so I gotta backtrack. Gotcha. Well, how silly of me to forget. Yeah, I should I should have just gone back for the locked door immediately. But hey, at least there's an easy way to get back to it. 
Now I can finally find out what the heck that noise was. Alright, what's behind the mystery door? Mini boss, maybe? Nope, just a bunch of weeds. A bunch of weird, crappy weeds. And a treasure chest with... A compass, huh? Uh... Is that what that was this whole time? That was nothing! Okay, if it wasn't for me being in a hurry, that would have been one of the easiest traps to dodge in the history of Zelda games. But hey, who's complaining? Not me. That is kind of interesting that you can hear traps like that from the next room over, just very faintly and in the uh, corresponding ear. Alright, is this in the same spot? Yep. And with this big key, I get the power glove. It's so bad. Oh, and it's an automatic equip. Cool. Yeah, just, <laughs> just skip the whole challenge by dashing. Ah, it's fun that you're allowed to do that. Now we can finally uncover the secret inside this mysterious room. And it's kind of interesting, the entire dungeon is, like, segregated between the bottom and top haps. That icon down there, that's the big chest that I already opened, right? I think it's just a straight shot to the end now. Yeah, best not to overthink it. There we go. Oh, it's one of these rooms! Wait, I don't even- I don't even need to bother with this, I'm gonna just leave. <laughs> okay, good. Boy, I hate those. And I don't even have a proper shield, do I? So yeah, not, not really in the best... Whoa. Okay, I did not those... I, I did not realize that those things could, like, speed scuttle. Okay, that's weird. I don't understand why or when they do that. I think I'm going to need a more wide-open room to examine that behavior. Alright, well, this'll do. Are they running away from me? Oh, that one's not. Yeah, those things are supreme roamers. They just do whatever the hell they feel like. I feel like later in the game we're going to see a new variation of them that uh, can regenerate or respawn or something. Alright. All these lanterns... Uh... Oh, there we go. All these lanterns... It's going to be real weird if I go through all of them and nothing happens. Why are there so many unlit lanterns in this area? I just don't get it. It's not even how you get the small key. Oh, not again. Okay, I get it. You gotta find the key in one of the four pots while dodging these things. Doesn't make any doesn't make it any less annoying. Oh god, leave me alone. So my shield really is that useless. Uh, 
Alright, screw it. I need it. Ugh. <laughs> I was trying to lift the one in the top right many times, but I just couldn't quite make it work. What is this, a monster from Galaga? Are we still not at the boss chamber yet? Oh, hello there. Oh, right, you distinctly have to shoot these. There we go. And I guess that was optional? Yeah, this dungeon's a little bit weird. Oh! Revelations. Alright, well, I have the big key, so I should be good to, uh, good to go, right? Alright, boss number two. Who's it gonna be? Manhandler? Uh, Moldorm? This appears to be just a bunch of big worms. Oh shoot, they shoot, uh, rocks when they come out of the ground. Yeah, this is giving me major Blaster Master vibes for some reason. Like, didn't I fight something like this in Blaster Master Zero? Hmm, yeah, arrows are not holding up too well. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, I'm pretty sure this boss was, like, copied and pasted completely just in a, you know, platforming environment in Super Metroid. So, not, not the most unique idea for a boss fight. Also, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain the boss pattern going on here, because it's pretty simple. They just pick a random spot, prepare to come out of the ground, and then they make a burst and launch projectiles in four directions, and that is it. I guess it's random how long they stay in the air, but eh, that's not saying much. Projectile overload. Still, the fact that there are three of them does make it a little bit harder than usual. It'd be nice if I could take one of them down. But they are vulnerable for very brief periods of time. And the fact that you get sent back a little bit after you make a hit isn't helping. It is possible to shoot them, but boy is it hard. Finally got one of them. Give me a heart. G give me something! <laughs> I'm on my last leg here. Nah, not really. I have one lifeline. It's that fairy I got in the bottle. Yeah, there we go. Two down, one to go. This should be a piece of cake. Never mind. He's gotten smarter. Oh, no. This pretty much makes it impossible for you to strike at them when they're coming out of the ground. So you have to approach them from a different angle. Oh yeah, that's tricky. Man, is there a better tool that I have at my disposal? The, the dungeon item is not going to help me at all here. It was just the power glove. And there's nothing I can even pick up here. There we go. Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, for how simple this boss is, it proved to be surprisingly challenging. That's a cool way of making them look 3D. Must have been mind-blowing back then. Yeah, honestly, it's not that difficult. Uh, you just have, uh, like, parent-child uh, data where the movement of each individual piece is tethered to the movement of the one in front of it. Uh, it's the same technology that made Wigglers in Super Mario World. The Pendant of Power! Go for the last one. 
Oh, got it. I got a feeling that the power glove I just got is going to be instrumental in getting to the top of the mountain. Well, that was pretty quick, I gotta say. I'm not sure if I should go ahead and move on to Bravely uh, Default 2 now. I don't know, is it too soon? Oh, hey, what's that? You know what, there's room for a little bit of faffing around before I get a continue on my way. We can check out what that weird stone tablet is, I think. All I need is a way to get up there. How the hell do you get up there? It's like there's... there's no entrance. There's no ledge that goes up that high. How long is Bravely Default 2's demo? I don't know! And I'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it in one sitting. Okay, there's no way to get up there. <laughs> I think maybe you have to do some kind of shenanigan, like enter the dark world later in the game and then come back in a specific spot. I don't know. We're not even close to talking about the dark world yet. It's entirely possible that I will not be able to finish uh, the Bravely Default 2 demo today. Chances are it's got enough packed into it that uh, I'll have to come back to it another day this week. Whoa, I didn't know I could pick those up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So he can touch the screen edge, but I can't? That's a cheap place to hide. Uh, what's this? It's not the Woods of Mystery. No, that's something else entirely. Hmm. What is this place? I see a rabbit. Oh, hey! Hello! Okay, bye! Well, that was weird. Hmm... Maybe if I come back when I have a musical instrument of some kind? Alright, yeah, but I'm feeling like, uh... One dungeon is good, two would be too many. Even if it is another short one. Oh, there was a fairy in there. Alright, back off. I just want to lift these and see what they do. Okay, never mind, I can't lift. Well, I was hoping I would stumble upon something else that requires the uh, use of the, you know, the bracelet, the power bracelet uh, lifting ability. But nothing yet. Oh, careful not to go too far, you don't want to jump into the lake. What is this? Have I been here before? Oh, it's the shop, right. Eh, you know what, since I'm here, let's buy another potion. Alright, well, I'm gonna err on the side of caution, and go ahead and wrap up and move on to uh, Bravely Default 2. Because it's a pretty straight shot over to the third uh, Pendant Dungeon. And honestly, it would be faster anyway if I just started from the Sanctuary next time, so we'll go ahead and do that. Nope, wrong one. Alright, good. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Uh, if we find the opportunity later this week, we'll come back to this game.